Uh, good morning, ladies and gents. Uh, beautiful uh, Tuesday morning here in Austin, Texas. Uh, just got done with a 10.10 .10 mile run. Uh, and I gotta be honest, it was, uh, it was a tough one, um, but I got it done. Uh, got out a little bit later than I anticipated, um, which is sometimes I will call a recipe for a disaster uh, because then you're going more into the humidity, it gets hot out here and things of the sort. But I was talking to a good friend and uh, allowing her to, to vent, allowing her to express herself. And I think it was really, really important. Uh, so, you know, it was what it was. But I knew I was gonna get out here. Uh, got out here a little later. It's a little hotter, a little humid. But what I look at it as is, I'm just getting prepared for the summer. Like uh, running here in the summer in Austin is no joke, but it only serves to uh, make me stronger. Uh, currently started listening to a biography on uh, uh, LeBron James. And uh, I am enjoying it thus far. Uh, we're so early in the process. He's talking about his uh, uh, teen years, his high school years. And uh, I just love listening to stories about people and their, their journeys and their adventures. And so this one was really, really, really important to me to listen to. Uh, a thought that I had on my mind on this particular run is the idea that failure is necessary. You see, um, a lot of us, we run away from the failures. We think that because of these failures um, that we can't, like our life is over or doomed, or this is a feeling that I get from a lot of people. And I know that I had that a lot in myself, but every day I wake up is an opportunity to create the future that I want, to create the impact that I want, to create the change that I want. And so in failure, you know, when I come out here running every single day, the idea is to break myself down. And in each day I'm failing myself, like I'm beating myself to this core, but at the same time, I'm, I'm strengthening myself in such incredible ways, in ways that I couldn't even anticipate if you had told me straightforward. And I think there's something about all of that failure that, that humbles you, that gives you perspective, that gives you hope, uh, that gives you faith. And um, it's just really, really cool to act upon those things. Uh, something else I was kind of thinking about, um, me and my ex-wife used to have this running joke about um, uh, who would live longer, her or I. Uh, I'm a little bit under, I'm a little bit uh, under two years older than her. And um, the statistics say that uh, women live longer than men. And I don't, I don't, I don't fault statistics. It, it is what it is that, you know, that's the thing. But I think a lot of things is people don't know who I am and my heart and the work that I put in and things of the sort. And if I lived my life by statistics, I wouldn't do a dang thing, man. Like none of us would. And uh, here's one of my dreams. I'm 49 this year. I recently saw this video with this gentleman, 100 years old, and he broke the the uh, 100 meter dash record for a 100 year old um, fella at 1913, 19.13. And all I think I'm thinking in my head is. I gotta live at least another 51 years to beat that record. And that's how my mind works. I don't look at it like, oh man, but this is happening and that is, no, 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 no. I don't look at any of that. If it happens, it happens, but I can't control that. What I can control is the way I approach it, the work I put in and the perspective I have. And so that's the thing that I say. So when you see me 51 years down the line, with my with my 100 meter record, know that I called it out today. And um, I love it, man, I love it. I love pushing myself in ways that I never thought I could even attain. And I love exceeding those things. And that is my, that is the system that I work. I like every single day, I'm getting better. Though I'm failing at the same time. Interesting perspective. Anyway, done today. Uh, talk to you later, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.